A White Bear Lake band, inspired by one of our late friends from the land of 10,000 stories, played a tribute during several performances at the Minnesota State Fair this year. We'll tell you more about that tribute in just a moment, but first, the man who inspired it. Boyd Hooper first introduced us to Wally Pickle in 2004. Wally passed away four years ago, but no one who ever saw him play will forget him. If you start from the premise no one has ever written a sad polka, there is perfect logic in the music career of a man who shares his name with a gherkin. <laughs> Wally Pickle is to music what comic books are there we go. to fine art. A lifelong student of the trumpet, but a master of the art of the smile. <laughs> How you doing, man? He makes the people uh, happy. <laughs> In his 60 years of performing, Roll out the barrel. Wally Pickle has provided a soundtrack for the lives of a generation of central Minnesotans. For the, games here. the music in their parks, the swing in their wedding dances, the taps at their funerals, <laughs> and the hand Come on now, everybody's got a young at their pork supper. He gets a kick out of life. <laughs> Wally Pickle was born with lips spring-loaded for a laugh. He had to train them to do this. I worked at him at home for about uh, two years. Hey, where's the Wally? And a uh, little at a time, little at a time, built up my lips. Playing harmony and melody at the same time wasn't part of the lesson when Wally realized he was never going to be the best musician at McPhail Music School. I wanted to do something different, and uh, nobody else around was doing that, so I thought I made up my mind I'm going to play two trumpets. Now I'm looking for a man named uh, Wally Pickle. Someone else could be Leonard Bernstein. Where is oh. oh, Wally, right under my nose. Wally started taking his cues from Barnum and Bailey. Wally had a feeling that to get on the likes of the Mike Douglas show would take more than playing two trumpets. So he taught 10 fingers to do the work of 15. The middle one, I sometimes have to bend over with the first finger or with the third finger. Then got his feet and knees into the act for good measure. I don't think there's Nobody in the United States has done it. It's kind of a thing, you know, <laughs> and uh, it's mine. We can't tell you if the rating spike the night Wally Pickle was on the NBC Tonight Show. Good morning to people out there in K does land. What he can claim is the highest rated, longest running radio show on KDUZ in Hutchinson. Patsy Shower from Silver Lake has got a birthday today. His Pickle Patch program airing every Friday morning at 9 since 1964. Here we go, Mungo Wally's new CD. <laughs> At age 77, he's retired his pogo stick and doesn't have the wind for three trumpets anymore. But Wally still pumps out polkas at 100 performances a year. You get to be a ham. You crave people liking you. Yep, but a little, 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 bop, bop. <laughs> the legendary band leader Lawrence Welk called Wally Pickle's smile one of the best in show business. <laughs> But better to measure Wally Pickle by a million smiles left behind in the land of 10,000 stories. Hey! <laughs> Good night! <laughs> Well, after seeing that story, David Swanson went to the Minnesota State Fair to watch Wally Pickle play. He met with Wally and spent the next couple of years teaching himself to play two trumpets. The year after he died in 2017, I got out here, the very place where I first met Wally Pickle. Well, I feel like I'm kind of keeping the art going for Wally. David Swanson says Wally made playing two trumpets look easy, but he couldn't believe how hard it was when he tried it.